Alright guys, what is going on? Today's video is just going to be nice and short, straight to the point. It's something that has helped me tremendously with my lower back pain um, and my hip flexor mobility. Obviously when we're training in the gym every day, also when we're doing things like driving every single day for you know hours on end, I probably do about two or three hours of driving a day. Um, my right foot is constantly going up and down, so obviously that hip flexor muscle is constantly being shortened and lengthened. And what is that gonna do over time? It's gonna create extremely tight muscles, and that's exactly what's happened to me. Um, I haven't been stretching them as much as I should. So what I did, I went online, and I got taught how to stretch my hip flexor properly. And what I didn't actually realize, guys, is that the hip flexor is not only down the front of the hip, it actually also wraps right around and connects all the way um, to your lower back. Uh, so your right hip flexor goes all the way around your right hip and connects to your lower back. Your left one, once again, goes all the way around and connects to your left left side of your lower back. So my right hip flexor has been giving me trouble for a long time. I was feeling a, a slight dull sort of pulling sort of uh, you know soreness in my lower back and I thought possibly they could be related because at some times when I tried to tri stretch my hip flexor, at this point I didn't actually know how to stretch it properly but sometimes when I did I sort of felt like it was slowly slowly relieving pressure on my lower back. So. What I did, I actually realized that they are correlated and I learned how to stretch my hip flexor properly. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. So when a lot of people go to try and stretch their hip flexor, they'll put, yes, they'll put their leading foot out. They're gonna try and stretch this hip flexor. You'll see people, and the, the main motion that they do is lean. So they'll lean forward, they'll try and feel a stretch along here most of the time they won't and they'll wonder why but they'll continue going down and down and down until yes you do finally start feeling a stretch here but it's not the right stretch okay it's not the right stretch so you know you can you can be leaning forward all you like and you're still not going to activate it the way you want so what you do you once again put the foot out on the 90 degree angle but what you're actually going to focus on is this your glute muscle so first thing you're gonna do before you do any stretching is squeeze the glute. So I'm gonna squeeze my right glute and this is what's gonna happen, okay? So what that does, that forces my ass slightly underneath me and makes my upper back, and makes my back go nice and straight. So once again, first thing I'm gonna do, squeeze the glute, okay? That brings everything slightly forward. I think it's supinated, I'm not sure how you call it, but it's gonna bring everything slightly forward like this. And then, and then, when you've, when you've got your, your glute nice and tense, then you can start leaning forward. And you're not gonna be able to lean forward very far at all. And I'll tell you what, all I need to do is a couple of inches forward. So I'll squeeze the glute. Couple of inches forward, and I'm already feeling it all the way down here, and all the way to my lower back. So when you do it like this, this is when you really realize that yes, your hip flexor does, you know, participate in your lower back health a lot. So, I'll hold this for 30 seconds, I'll go to the other side, I'll do it again on this side, and I'll do it again on the other side. You should probably hold them for a bit longer, but I'm still learning, and it still hurts like fuck. So, that's what I'm gonna do now. Good luck to you guys. Your hips, your glutes, your lower back is so important, you want to keep it as healthy as possible, so get on that shit.